Blizzard's Overwatch 2 is not a game I intended to play. I accomplished all there is available for a console player to do in the original Overwatch, aside from reach Reputation 5. I swear to pull that off, you need to be a mercy main. But aside from some severe server issues, once you play the game, I think you gotta look at it as overall an improvement. Now before we get too deep into this, why don't you check out my buddies CalderaLab.com, makers of The Deep facial mask for men. Use my promo code FRY15 to save 15% at checkout. No, I did not intend on playing Overwatch 2, the oft-delayed, often-rumored sequel to Overwatch, a game that didn't seem like it needed a sequel. Why can't we just have Overwatch continue? Well, it's sort of what Blizzard did. They just made this an update to Overwatch, making it so that my 100% completion in that game is no longer the case. Thus, if I want to continue having a perfect 100% completion of all the achievements in Gamer Score, I'd have to play Overwatch 2. And though it took me over four hours of waiting to get past the server gate, blame a DDoS attack all you want, I found that Hammond, my main character, a tank who goes into a giant hamster ball and wrecks, received an adequate buff, allowing me to make those meme-worthy knockback environmentals again, which, which I immediately did. Oh, poor McCree, you don't have a flashbang to stop me anymore. Yeah, they got rid of the stuns, largely. And when you're playing with just one tank now that it's 5v5 instead of 6v6, I think that's a quality idea. Keep the game moving, not a whole lot of crowd control. Similarly, Sombra has been reworked to the point that she no longer really hacks people for a prolonged time. It's a mild stun and irritation, but the damage increase bestowed on that character makes her pretty damn OP right now, which is what the kids say for overpowered. Gone are the 2CP assault maps, be groaned by all for their imbalanced spawn points, minute-long walks leading to team wipes, and essentially in their place are new robot push contests that the strategy for this is going to take some time for everybody to iron out. But I think it's a consensus that this is more enjoyable than trying to attack or defend on Anubis Objective B. Assault is partially retained in the hybrid game type, some of those maps making their way to Overwatch 2, looking at you King's Row, a fan favorite. And we still have control maps, which nobody really complained too much about. And there are three new heroes, each giving you a viable way to win. The graphics are much improved. You will notice a distinct difference in the lighting. It is far more realistic. Uh, there are other traits with the characters. I feel like their animation is stronger at times. Some of the things you see pulled off, even in the highlight intros, look more cinematic. It gives you a feeling like you're there. Cotton clothing now looks more like that material. Hair looks less like clumps of clay fashioned into a hairdo and more like strands though still highly stylized. And queue times are greatly diminished. I did not have to wait long for games, sometimes 10 seconds, maybe at most about two minutes. But Vaughn, you hate everything. I'm on, what's wrong with the game now? Okay, I'll tell you. Battle pass, free to play. These are not features rich in the games that I enjoy. Overwatch 2 expands the player base by being available to everybody with McDonald's Wi-Fi and no inclination to buy a $60 retail copy. For those noobs, the majority of Overwatch's hero gallery is locked. You only have access to 13 playable characters. And even returning characters have to either earn or essentially buy the new support hero, Kiriko. Now, because my grocery store has been monthly rewarding me with Xbox gift cards, I decided to go ahead and pick up the Watch Point Pack, giving me the Battle Pass, in an effort to try to make a tutorial guide on how to play Kiriko, though I can't pop both of her achievements. One seemingly being glitched or in the least not accurately described, the other will kick you from a game, and that is an ongoing issue. So a new player, who could be racking up lots of achievements, will get kicked from a match for popping an achievement, and there are severe lag spikes when players enter or exit a game. Hell, I've seen lag spikes when someone joins to spectate. Now, I'm not in the business of trying to figure out where this game's gonna go, but it looks like we're gonna be adding a new hero 
every season? Is that the plan? And your seasons last about 60 days, it looks like? So that's incentive for you to buy a new battle pass so that you can play as the new hero right away. And to unlock a shitload of cosmetics. Now even adding charms and some customization to these skins. I really am enjoying Overwatch 2, but I can't condone a battle pass being used for anything more than aesthetics. Paywalling a new hero so that people are compelled to buy them up front does not sit well with me. But I do see myself spending a lot of time with Overwatch 2, hopefully not as much as I spent with the first one, which was about a year of my life. I know from experience this game is going to be ever evolving, it'll be hard to cement a solid score because there could be changes that affect the way I play and then make me upset in particular. But I give Overwatch 2 a 9.0 out of 10. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel, you just got done watching it.